Welcome to DJ Event Planner and the 101 Setup Guide. If you are viewing this video and you have not signed up for a trial yet, go to djeventplanner.com, click on the green free trial button in the upper right corner. Enter your information and create a username and password, then click process registration. You will be required to agree to the terms of service and privacy policy. After reading through, enter your first and last name in the boxes and check that box indicating that you have read and agree, and then click Confirm. You are now in your DJ Event Planner trial and can begin setting up your account. If you would prefer to read the text version of this guide, click Support Options in the left menu and either click on Getting Started Guide in the menu or click Read Guide next to the DJ Event Planner Getting Started 101 Guide. The first step in setting up your account is to verify your email address. Click Account in the left menu, then click on the blue Send Verification Email button. This will send a verification email to the address that we entered when we signed up for the trial. Go to your email inbox and look for the email titled Company Email Verification from no reply at djfinder.com. If you do not see it in your inbox, be sure to check your spam or junk folder. Click on the link in the email to verify your email address. You will receive a confirmation that your email has been verified. Click the green continue button to be taken to the logon page. Enter the username and password that you created when creating your account. Should you ever forget your password, click the forgot password link and enter your email address to receive your logon info. Once logged in, the next step is to complete our company profile. Click Account in the left menu. Next to Company Details, click the blue Edit button. Enter your company and contact name, mailing address, and contact information, and be sure to select your time zone. The information entered in these fields will be used in merge tags for documents, emails, and website tools. Once finished, click Save. Now it is time to begin setting up the rest of your portal. First, let's get our packages and add-ons inputted. Click Setup in the left menu, then Packages. To add a package, click on Add Package. Note that when adding a package to an event, you can only select one package per event. Additional items, such as uplighting, photo booth, ceremony music, etc., can be added to an event via add-ons. To add our add-ons, click Setup, then Add-ons, and Add Add-on. More detailed information about adding packages and add-ons to your portal can be found in our video Quickly Add Packages and Add-ons on our YouTube page. Next, we'll customize and configure our website tools and integrate them into our website. Click on Website Tools in the left menu. Click Styling Options at the top. Enter the URL to your company logo from your website or other third-party image hosting service. Modify any other settings you wish to match your business color scheme and click Save Settings. Now, we will want to configure the website tools that we will want to utilize in our website. Select a tool, change the settings, and then when ready to put on your website, click the green Get Code button. Select the code you would like to use and paste it into your website editor. More information about configuring and integrating your website tools can be found in our video titled Configure and Integrate Website Tools on our YouTube page. Before we begin to add events into our portal, we will want to configure our event statuses to keep track of where clients are in our workflow. To edit your event statuses, click Setup in the left menu, then Application and Event Status. Here is a default list of event statuses you can add, remove, or change to meet your needs. When it comes to creating a workflow, you will want to think about each step your client takes from first contact to post-event follow-up and assign that step a status. On the right, you can select which statuses are considered a booked event, a lost sale, or a pending event. Now we can begin adding events into our system. There are a couple ways to add an event, either clicking the Add Event icon in the top blue bar, clicking Add Event on a calendar date, or by adding an event from a request for information form or instant quote request. For more detailed information, watch our How to Quickly Add an Event video on our YouTube page. Now we will want to create our planning forms. 
Click on Event Planning in the left menu, then click on Planning Evaluation Forms. To add a new form, click the green Add New Form button. Like packages, we can assign only one event activity form per event, but multiple additional planning forms. You can also find shared forms from other users by clicking the Form Sharing button at the top. Click on the Preview button to show the form. Once you have found a form that you would like to use, click the green Import button, and that form will now be saved to your account where you can edit it and make it your own. For more detailed information, watch our video titled Planning Forms on our YouTube page. Next, we will need to create document templates for our contracts, invoices, receipts, etc. To create our templates, click on Setup in the left menu, Documents, then Add Template to create one from scratch. Just like planning forms, there are shared document templates. Click the Document Sharing button at the top. You will find documents created by DJ Event Planner as well as templates shared by other users. Click the Preview button to see what the template looks like. Once you have found one you like, click the green Import and Save. This will save that template to your account and you can now edit to meet your needs. If you already have a contract that you would like to use, DJ Event Planner offers a document conversion service. More information about document conversions can be found by clicking the Help FAQs in the upper right. Then click View Details next to Document Conversions. More information about document templates can be found in the Documents video on our YouTube page. Now that you have a contract in your account, you'll need to configure the e-signature settings for that template. Select your document either by clicking on it or selecting Actions, then Edit Full Screen. Click on the e-signature tab at the top of the editor window. Here you can configure your e-signature settings such as expiration date, counter signature options, and what happens once a contract is e-signed. More information about e-signatures can be found in our e-signatures video on YouTube. The next step is to set up our email templates. Click Setup in the left menu, then Emails. There are some default templates already inside of our DJP. You can utilize these templates as is, edit them, or add your own. We will want to create a template for emails that we regularly send to our clients. Email templates are comprised of content and merge tags. These merge tags will populate with information that we inputted into an event, allowing us to quickly send a personalized email without having to compose a new email each and every time. Further detailed information about email templates can be found in our emails video on our YouTube page. Now that we have our email templates created, we need to configure our external email servers to ensure clients receive our emails in their inboxes and not the spam or junk folder. Click Setup in the left menu, then Emails, then Settings at the top. Click Expand next to the account type you would like to set up. Under the user that you would like to configure, click Setup next to the outgoing server. Enter those credentials that will be provided by your email provider and then click Save. More information about external mail server settings can be found by clicking the Help FAQ in the upper right, or can be found by watching our email server setting video that can be found on our YouTube page. Lastly, we will want to set up booking helpers to help with managing events within our account. To create a booking helper, click Setup, Application, Booking Helpers. Booking helpers are macro commands that will allow us to perform multiple actions with the push of one button. It can change dates, statuses, send emails, payments, and more. You'll need to analyze your workflow to see what works best for you. Booking helpers help eliminate tasks that you do routinely when working within an event in DJ Event Planner. More information can be found in our Booking Helpers video on YouTube. You can also find helpful videos such as how to send a contract with a booking helper. Should you have any questions or need assistance, you can click on support options in the left menu. You'll find us by live chat Monday through Fridays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, and you can also find assistance on our support forum. When visiting the forum for the first time, you will need to register and create a username and password. Our team is here to assist. During your trial period, we will send a link to schedule a free demo. Make sure to take advantage of that demo. It can provide a great resource as well as an opportunity to get any questions answered. 
Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page to receive updates about new how-to videos, change logs, and more. Once again, welcome to DJ Event Planner, and happy planning.